Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannett Reviews. Today we're checking out the last of the boats I filmed at the Orlando Boat Show last year. And this time it's a 2023 Regal 38 SAV. I've been living in Florida now for over 10 years, but sometimes I'm still wearing that Scottish hat. Whenever I think of a boat that's on a trailer, this is not what I would have in mind. This boat measures in at 39 feet 3 inches in length, she's got a beam of 11 feet 11 inches, she's got a dry weight of 18,800 pounds, and she carries 340 gallons of fuel, 60 gallons of fresh water, and 29 gallon holding tank capacity. She's a phenomenal piece of kit, and this particular example has got pretty much every option you could possibly imagine included. She's powered by triple Yamaha 300 horse, these are 4.2 litre V6 engines each. Flat out, expect speeds of around 50 miles per hour, and then you're going to cruise around about 31 miles per hour, and at which point you're going to get about 250 mile range. This is a boat that can do it all. Fishing, diving, swimming, fast cruising, weekend cruising, your options are limitless. Side door access makes it easy to board whenever you're on a pontoon, or in the water, but it also helps land that catch easier. You get multiple self-training storage compartments, so these are ideal for fish holds, or you can fill them full of ice and put some refreshments in there. I like the way the seats pop out on the transom, that way if you want to have the deck space for something like fishing, you can fold those away, but if you want to have family and friends cruising with you, then you can pull those out and you get plenty of comfort. The sea deck that they have, it is really top quality installation makes the boat look good, but it's also easy to walk on and also easy to maintain. That extended hard top gives you plenty of shade and protection. And to begin with, you're going to find we've got an outdoor grilling station. Perfect for grilling out things like burgers and steaks, but also can you imagine catching fish when you're out at sea and cooking it straight from the ocean? You're not going to get any fresher than that. And the build quality in this one's phenomenal. Even simple things, lifting up these hatches, you don't feel the hatch move. There's no bending and twisting as you're opening and closing. I love the lighting that's on this boat. I don't know how well it's coming out in the video for you. But this was in undercover storage when we were doing the boat show. But it was by far one of the main boats at the event. And this one's got the fish package. And that includes a live well. And you'll see a number of storage compartments including refrigeration for this outdoor grilling area. But as well as having that refrigeration we've also got a large Yeti cooler. That is located underneath the helm seats. Slide out drawers for more storage. And this is a boat that's equipped with all the amenities so you don't have to rush back to dock. You can spend time out on the water, spend a weekend at anchor, with plenty of room for your family and friends to join you. And if you're impressed with the options list so far, wait till you get to the helm. This one has it all. And by that I mean it's got joystick control. This one's also got the forward looking infrared thermal camera. It's got the Garmin HD Open Array Radar, VHF. Some of the best multifunction setup that I've ever seen on a boat. Where you can control all sorts of systems and monitoring in place. And although she's joystick controlled, she does also have a bow thruster. Which is going to be really beneficial, not only for doing your close quarter maneuvers in the marina. But this one is on a trailer. So it's going to be a really beneficial getting on and off the trailer for you as well. She's got three independent seats at the helm. These have got the bolster effect, so you can sit up or stand down. You've also got the armrests that are retractable. And that steering wheel is telescopic, so you can adjust that to the best angle to suit. And down below, we've got air-conditioned overnight accommodation, making this an ideal weekender. All the soft furnishings are really thick and padded, so it's very, very comfortable to sit on or lay on. But also notice if I lift this up, you'll see that there's plenty of storage underneath as well. And considering this is basically a centre console, there's actually a good amount of room in here for manoeuvring. There's a ton of artificial lights, but there's also a number of hatches and portholes that will bring in natural light. As with the outside, the inside materials are really, really high quality. All the woodwork finishing, even the steps that lead down here, they don't move whenever you're walking on them. You do have a small galley in here, there's also a convection microwave oven. And then leading aft, there's a setup here where you can have basically the sofa on one side and a bed on the other, but this does slide out and it becomes one large bed too. And in order to stay on the water for longer, this one's got a fully equipped heads compartment with a separate toilet and shower. And that shower's got a seat built into it, but there's plenty of headroom in here to use it traditionally. 
then if we pop back up into the main cockpit I'll take you up to the bow and one thing I really like about this boat is how easy it is to walk around now granted it's sitting on a trailer in a boat show but I'd imagine even while the boat's underway or when you're at anchor there's so much room there's so much padding there's so many handholds it's really easy for your family and friends and then up on the bow you've basically got a u-shaped seating area and this one can have a cockpit table mounted up in here or storage underneath all the seats but there's also plenty of space up here that if you wanted to do fishing you could ample room for that too and regardless of where you are on the boat there's plenty of cup holders there's plenty of speakers there's plenty of lighting and regardless of what seat you have you're still going to feel like a vip on board and from a price perspective, this one was on offer at the boat show for $699,000. That's actually a massive saving on you because this one costs over a million dollars, as the spec is for the MSRP. And that spec includes on the bow, this one does have an electric windlass. You can operate it right here at the bow, but you can also operate it back at the helm. And then as I pan the camera around and head aft, you'll see that this one's got a massive wraparound screen. There's going to be plenty of protection while you're underway from the element. And you also get a sense of just how much room we have for manoeuvring and walking around when on board. So if you ask me to come and film a trailer boat, is this what I'd have in mind? Absolutely not. But having spent time on board, I can fully understand the appeal. I'd imagine this is something great down in South Florida, down in the Caribbean islands. A great way to spend a day or a weekend on the water. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comment. If you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really makes a difference. I look forward to catch you on the next one. Thanks everyone.